Hey guys, it's Chad. Hey, I want to walk you through an issue that a lot of people have with their pump when they open it up for the season. And here's the issue. You go out, you get your water up, you got your cover off, you're ready to go, you're ready to turn your pump on. You turn your pump on and it hums, but it doesn't kick on. And eventually it ends up probably flipping your breaker, okay? If this is your issue, that doesn't mean your pump's dead. I'm gonna show you a trick here in two seconds on what you can do to get this thing kick-started, and your pump may be fine, might last another five, six years. This doesn't mean your pump's dead. First of all, this is what's happening. Inside that motor, that electric motor on your pump, is a bunch of copper wire wrapped around a shaft that spins connected to an impeller that throws water. That's how your water gets moving in your pump. What's happening is in the winter, you'll get a lot of corrosion from the pump just sitting there. It'll get corroded and it'll almost lock itself into that place. And the reason you're hearing that humming is you're hearing the electricity going to your pump, but your pumps froze to the shell of the motor or your, your, that copper is froze to the shell of the motor and it won't spin. So you're hearing electricity going in there, but the pumps, the motor's trying to spin, but it can't. You just got a bunch of corrosion in there, okay? Again, this doesn't mean your pump is dead. Now, what'll happen is as it tries for a minute, all that electricity is pumping in there, it's trying to get this thing spinning, it ends up heating up the pump, the pump has a thermal shutoff inside of it to protect itself. Once it gets to a certain temperature, it flips the breaker in your house or it flips the breaker inside the pump. You either got to give it 10 minutes to let your pump cool down or you go inside, you flip your breaker and you try it again, okay? What I'm going to do right now is show you a trick on how you might be able to get this pump started again, okay? If this trick works for you, then you're good, your pump may last a whole another beautiful life, okay? If this doesn't work for you, there's too much corrosion in there, then you might have to replace your motor or replace your pump. But I'm going to show you a trick that's real simple to see if you got to get a new pump or you don't. And most of the time, you don't. So let me go show you. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on this pump right here. Now, let me show you something first, and then I'll show you how to do this with your pump. First of all, if you have a pump that's got a big casing back here, you know, we're looking at the back of the pump where the uh, cord goes in. You have a big casing here. You're going to have a screw right here in the center. If you don't have a pump like this, hold on. I'm going to tell you how to do it. But you're just going to unscrew this and you're going to pull this casing off. Now, in the center of every pump is going to look like what is a flat head, the big head of a flat head screw, okay? Right here. Now, what you may have on your pump, you may not have this big casing. You might have some sort of either metal or plastic cap right here in the center of the back of your pump, which would be kind of back here in the center of your pump. You're just going to pop that uh, round plug, so to speak. It'll either be metal or plastic or rubber. You'll just pop that off, and that will reveal this screw. What I'm showing you is how to reveal this screw. Now. What this bolt is, is it's the long shaft that goes all the way through the motor that's connected to the impeller and as that impeller spins it throws water and that's how this works. So this is a shaft that goes all the way through. On this shaft it has a bunch of copper wire wrapped around it. This is where your corrosion is. So here's what you're wanting to do. If you get a flathead screwdriver and you try to turn this you're going to feel the corrosion inside of it crunching and trying to break free. Sometimes it's going to be really, really hard to turn this. Here's the moral of the story. If you can turn this and break that corrosion free, you can get your pump started again. If you try to turn this and you can't break the corrosion free or you can't even turn this, then that means you've got so much corrosion you can't turn your shaft and your pump's not going to work, you're going to have to end up getting a new pump, okay, or at least a new motor, okay. Now, here's the trick. What I want you to do is you're going to have, let's say, your cord here uh, to plug this thing in. 
here's what you want to do, and we call this kickstarting the pump. If you can break this free and you can spin this to some extent, what you're going to do is try to plug this pump into the outlet and right when you plug it in, you're going to spin this clockwise. And that's going to help kickstart it and get this thing going. Okay? So if you can spin this thing right when you plug it in and kickstart it and get your pump going, let your pump run for you know 12 hours or you know 24 hours and that heat that the pump's going to generate will help break that corrosion free so when you unplug it and you plug it back in you won't have this issue again okay but there's the trick you're trying to move this shaft uh, right when you plug it in you're going to flip it clockwise to help kick start it and if that be the case you can get your pump going and you're back in business, hopefully this pump's going to give you another good life.